everyone, I'm Dr. Sada Falam. I review medical lectures so that you don't waste time finding the right lecture. Are you an undergraduate student? Are you going to give USMLE? Are you going to give NEET? Or are you not motivated to study and you're looking for an easy lecture online? Are you looking for a lecture that gives you complete information? Do you have language preferences like Hindi, Arabic, English? So you must have those choices and uh, I don't want you to waste too much time. I hope my reviews help you. So please keep watching. Today I'm going to be reviewing lectures on classification of anemia. Why only that? Because it's very important to know the entities that are there at least so that what's out of mind is out of sight. So hence you know what is there in a right systematic manner so that when you see a question you know what are they talking about? What is it that I have to rule out? What it is that I have to rule in. So the classification of anemia basically takes place in two ways, most importantly, the etiological classification and the morphological classification. Where there, Well, there are many, many lectures that talk about the morphological classification, it being microcytic, normocytic, macrocytic, there are many. Uh, some okay, some not that good, some pretty good, but there's very, very less stuff on etiological classification in the right way. Also, there are a lot of lectures on anemia for the general people, not the medical students. Now, come on, we're expected more than that. So I really searched a lot of lectures to give you the right lectures for this. Coming to the morphological classification first, there is Dr. B. Chong. This is how you spell it. This is what you should type. There is a classification of anemia, morphological classification. She really opens her eyes to everything that there is and what you need to study. Coming to the etiological classification, Your Medical Expert is the name of the channel and it talks about classification of anemia part two. Go to the part two, one and a half minutes to around four and a half minutes or four minutes, 10 seconds. That's the place she's talking about the etiological classification. Uh, she's mentioning everything. See, it's important to know all the entities. Also open your book in front because there's actually more so that when in the question you see they're talking about uh, you know kidney disease or suddenly they're talking about heart prosthesis and you're supposed to be marking which anemia is it or you're supposed to even understand what to uh, think when you see prosthesis in the question or you see kidney disease or you see liver disease or you see so many things so this is what you need to at least know that these entities exist Coming to Arabic lecture, there's Dr. Tahseen. The channel's name is USMLE Step 1 and 2. There are um, Arabic lectures on anemia. There's introductory lecture, which talks about classification pretty good. Also, there are other lectures. You could use that. Before you start the classification, you should have a slight warm-up, especially the UG students. There is a three-minute video by iMedical School. Uh, medical school anemia made easy just the very basic I think you can you should spend three minutes there and then go to the classification there is a lecture by five minute school how are red blood cells formed erythropoiesis erythropoietin regulation all this you could use that before starting the classification also if you're looking for a slightly detailed mm, erythropoiesis lecture slightly again uh, you could use Dr. MC Tayade uh, He's done a good job. If you're looking for a lecture in Hindi for his voices, Bhushan Science has done a good job. So uh, now again, how I base my uh, reviews are definitely not on the way of speaking or the pronunciation or the accent, come on. Uh, medical students, y'all can go beyond that. I base it on the material and the completion and the quality of the material, yes, I do give some importance to the voice quality. It shouldn't be so difficult to hear or understand. But I do not base it on cultures. I do not base it on pronunciation. If you want to do individual anemias, I don't think it's a good idea to take one lecture which is talking about several anemias in one lecture. It's not even possible. Go to better separate lectures. That's a better way of doing it. Now, I've already done a review on sickle cell anemia and macrocytic anemia. Please use that. Also, remember or note one thing that, see, I've already made a video and, uh, you know, just in the last few days, I saw a lecture by um, Dr. Rajiv Ranjan Gupta on sickle cell anemia. 
uh, which is in Hindi, which wasn't there at that time when I made that review. So don't forget to watch my description box. In that, I add any good lecture if there has come recently before I made that video. So please do check my uh, description box. Also, don't forget to watch my other videos. And uh, if there is any topic you want me to review sooner, please mention that in the comment box. That's all for my review. I hope you found it useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. Take care.